the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, in collaboration with the Global Environment Facility and the Food and Agriculture Organization, through the Climate Change Adaptation in the Eastern Caribbean Project, CC4 Fish Project, has supplied a variety of equipment to the Marine Unit of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, including water pumps, charts, navigation systems and maintenance tools. The procurement of equipment is in keeping with the mandate of the CC4 Fish Project to increase resilience and reduce vulnerability to climate change impacts in the Eastern Caribbean fisheries sector. Permanent Secretary of the Department of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicier, notes that the initiative will deepen collaborative efforts between the department and the marine unit, as it will be of great benefit to all stakeholders involved in the fisheries sector. Having had the impact of ELSA and such other immense and unpredictable events, we know how critical it is to build resilience. And the fisheries sector, like any other sector in St. Lucia, is one that is extremely vulnerable. So providing information and providing equipment to the police marine unit that aids in the efficiency of the operation and aids in the search and rescue operations especially is critical. It enhances the probability of, a, of success in these rescue operations and also it saves lives lives of the persons at sea and also those performing the rescue operations. Many other achievements have been made by the Department of Fisheries as part of the CC4 Fish Project, including the strengthening of the Marine Unit's communication system by providing base stations and repeater systems in the north and south of the island, as well as VHF radios to fisherfolk all over the island. Commander of the Police Marine Unit, Inspector Peter Joseph, expressed gratification on behalf of the unit for the newly acquired equipment. We are looking at the dewatering pumps for which we cannot function, which is essential in the case of a search and rescue. These pumps have the capacity to pump hundreds of gallons of water per hour. And it will not just assist the fishers, it will also assist the general marine stakeholders out there. That is the role of the marine unit, to assist the personnel, to assist the country, help develop the country. And with this, I give my solid promise that the marine unit will continue to do so. The navigational equipment, of course, it will not just be used in the execution of search and rescue, but also to assist in training, which is a vital cog in, in the operations of the marine unit. All the equipment that we have received, the charts, up-to-date charts, will also assist in, in that endeavor. The Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources and Cooperatives remains committed to assisting the police marine unit, which in the fight of mitigating the impact of climate change on the fisheries and marine sectors, remains an essential partner. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.